All right. Uh, on denial, my last uh, my last question was it was really the observation that most of us, when we embark on this endeavour to know ourselves and to know God, we seem to realise we're all in bucket loads of denial. And we've talked a little bit about our investment in denial, but my last question for you was, do you think the world is invested in us staying in denial? Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, if you look at, uh, if you look at politi- politics, it's invested in the denial of what it's doing. Religion is divested in the denial of what it's doing. Uh, and if we look at almost any other area of endeavour, the medical profession, all these other areas, there's, there's huge amounts of denial in all of it. A lot of it is to create a seeming uh, idea of prosperity, which obviously isn't the case because many people in the world don't mm. have any prosperity at all. Mm. And so, you know, we've just been to Brazil where there's favelas, uh, you know, the, uh, everywhere. and. Yeah. Um, you know, while some people have improved in their condition, there's huge amounts of denial about what's happening to the environment and, and you know, just for the sake of, of the improvement in economic prosperity. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, there, there is this uh, huge layers of denial in every aspect of life. And, and like we've been even... It, even our own involvement with the media has been interesting because we often get people emailing us saying, the media always tells the truth. And we go, what? Like, there's not been a single instance where the media has told the truth about us. Like, and how can they believe that the media tells the truth? The poor media's lost all credibility <laughs> with me now because I know how many lies they've told about us. I look at anything and I think, I really, I really can't believe what's yeah. being said. But can you see if I maintain the denial that the media is not lying to me? or the government is not lying to me, or religion is not lying to me, or whatever it is that's not lying to me, then I don't have to feel anything. Yeah. I don't have to feel the disappointment, the lack of trust, the other emotions that I do not want to feel. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, so what, I, what do I do? I choose to believe the, what is being touted as the, the mainstream viewpoint, and I, I choose to believe it because I want to avoid a whole group of emotions about it. So you're really saying that even though, yes, the world is invested in us remain, remaining in denial, individuals are creating that investment. Exactly, exactly. It's got nothing to do with the world. The world is not some kind of inanimate object, you know, of people. It's not some inanimate object over which we have no bearing. Yeah. It, it, it is completely responding in the way that it is because the majority of individuals in the world want to maintain a position of denial. The majority of individuals in the world do not want to believe that their politicians are lying to them. They don't want to believe that their religions are telling them untruth. They don't want to believe that, uh, you know, all these other areas, the economic areas and other areas of their life are all just a figment of some somebody's imagination uh, or, or some somebody's very, you know, highly male- malevolent control issues. They don't want to believe all of those things. They'd much rather believe that everything's fine. Mm. And if I can believe that everything's fine, then, then um, you know, I don't have to feel anything bad. Yeah. Now, if everyone in the world feels like, oh, we just want to believe everything's fine, then, of course, the politicians and the religious leaders and all the other people just say, everything's fine, everything's fine, <laughs> everything's fine. And we go, oh, everything's fine, isn't this wonderful? When it's not fine, and, and the irony is, if we look around the world today, we can see everything's not fine, and yet we still want to believe everything's fine. And, and, and this is like, you know, the old saying about the ostrich burying its head in the sand, want to believe everything's fine when it's not. We don't want to, and we do that because we don't want to come face to face with our own emotions. Yeah. That's the only reason why we're doing it. Yeah. It's not because we're not capable of changing, because we are. Mm-hmm. Where it's not because we're not capable of bringing our life into more harmony with love, because we are. It's because we do not want to face our own negative emotions that are needed to face before we do those things. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about facing our own pain. We want to avoid our own pain, yeah. which is a very selfish, self-oriented perspective of our life. And it's where we lose integrity, isn't it? We as lose everything. We... Courage, integrity, you know, any sense of love, truth, everything. We lose any quality that is good in human nature as soon as we stay in denial and, and, 
and as soon as we want to avoid our own emotional condition and as soon as we want to avoid our own emotional pain. Yeah. Yeah. And remember, being humble is about accepting your own emotional condition, be accepting your own emotional pain, accepting how you feel. Mm. That's what humble humility is all about. Mm.